All right, so I just got my vaccine. It is the AstraZeneca vaccine, because that's the only ones you get in the UK these days. You only get Pfizer if you got the first one as a Pfizer. They're not really doing it anymore, probably because nobody will take this vaccination. It's supposed to work, it's supposed to be fine, so I'm not concerned. Uh, the woman in the, in, who worked in the center couldn't tell me whether or not I would need to self-isolate if anyone, I came into contact anyone had COVID after I have the 20 days of the vaccine. She couldn't tell me. Apparently no one's ever asked for that because I wondered if we've got the vaccine, if we're exposed to them with COVID, do we have to worry about spreading it? Don't know. Anyway, so I'm sitting here at the train station, I decided to get a train home. I've walked, I don't know, 25,000 steps today. I'm over it and I'm not even at the right train station. So once I get into town, I'm going to have to have a pretty long walk to get back to my house, not the normal uh, short one. It's about... Uh, 6 30 right now you can still see it's light outside even though we've not done daylight savings time yet so next weekend it's going to be wild that's when we do put the clocks forward um so you know i went and saw the uh, dentist today apparently the nhs is doing treatment that's non-essential it's just that they can only take 10 patients a day and um usually they said in most practices those 10 patients are uh, emergency patients but my practice, I think most people are private there. It's more posh or something, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not posh. So uh, I actually got uh, an appointment, which is really cool. And I need two fillings, which is not really cool, but I haven't had a checkup in a year or a clean, so it's not really surprising, I guess, especially with all the crap going on in my mouth. But uh, I'm getting the fillings and the x-rays and everything next week. Uh, so I only have to wait one week for this. So this is really good. I'm pretty pleased about that. I feel like things are moving along. So the main thing is I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to feel very good tonight at my Todd show. It's the last show of the tour. It's been a fantastic tour. I've really, really enjoyed it. But uh, it's about to come to an end. <laughs> so I'm really hoping that, um, I don't know, I feel okay. I don't think I am going to feel okay. Most people do not feel okay when they get this, this jag. If you get the fights sir, you feel fine the first one, you feel crappy the second one. But if you get the AstraZeneca, you feel crappy the first one and fine the second one. So it's probably a better thing, so I'll get my second one when I'm back at work. So it'd be kind of shitty if I had to take a day off work because of the vaccine, but I don't think I will need to. Anyway, I'm just trying to pass time because this train is not really uh, coming as quickly as I would have hoped. I didn't, I thought they came all the time, but they don't. And now we're getting customer safety announcements. Oh, how exciting. Anyway, that's it. That's good news. And in the meantime, maybe for not much longer, stay the fuck away from me. Don't touch me. Don't touch anything. Mask up. See? Mm-hmm. And uh, wash your goddamn hands, man. And uh, keep your windows open. Don't, uh, don't be indoors with people if you're unprotected. We're going to beat this shit, man. Ciao.